everyone, it's Desiree, and it's time for another week of some wonderful Spellbinder kits that they have available for August. This one is called Butterfly Sparkle. So I already knew right off the bat, yeah, butterfly. Who doesn't love butterflies? Well, no, I shouldn't say that. Not everybody loves butterflies, but all shapes and sizes, and they are definitely in my stash. So let's go through the contents of the kit. These are the card stocks that you will receive along with your card that tells you what you'll get and some more inspiration. Your 10 card bases that measure 10, an A2 size card base that measure four and a quarter by five and a half, and they can be side folding or top folding. A roll of double-sided tape and a square of double-sided foam squares. A six by six paper pad, and these are some just beautiful papers. You get two of each design. Now remember, this is a paper pad. It's not a card stock pad. Um, so it'll definitely have a difference in weight. But what's great about this, it is perfect for layering and collaging, which is how I am inspired when it comes to this card kit. But there is so much more that can be done with it. These beautiful 3D butterflies um, and those wings stay propped up um, and they flutter. You get some nice chipboard stickers, some blue iridescent sequins, um, glitter sentiments, and of course, for those of you that have been here before, you know my favorite, the die cut pack. Um, die cuts are great for a card. Um, and what's great is Spellbinders does offer these die cut pads as add-ons. So if you don't have a die cutting machine, these are perfect to get to create your cards. A stamp set that has some beautiful sentiments and images, and then of course a die set. So let's dive right into our first card. Again, when I cut my panels, I really don't measure. I mean, I get an eye. I, when I'm putting it in my trimmer, I, I get this question a lot, but you put it in your trimmer, so you had to have known the size. Honestly, I'm putting it in my trimmer and I'm just saying, okay, yes, that's the size that I want based off of what I'm seeing. I may take notice of what size it is, but really I'm not. Um, so, you know, I know that annoys some because they like to have those dimensions. Have fun with the sizes of paper that you're using for your cards. You can make them any size you want. I'm using the stamp set for this one and I loved the, the dandelions. I know we don't like them in our yard, but I love them on a card. So I stamp that onto a piece of pattern paper and heat emboss it with gold. Um, my recollections gold powder. I'm using one of the sentiments and I'm going to stamp that using my clear ink onto a piece of black cardstock and I am using my Simon Says clear ink to stamp that images, that image. Again, I'm going to come in, I'm sorry, I'm using champagne. Champagne, not gold, nope, champagne. Now the recollection champagne is a great alternative to the Ranger um, Platinum. It's awesome. It's awesome. Once I have those heat set, I'm going to start layering my panels that I have cut down. I like to use the double-sided tape for this. Um, it's a great, this is a nice strong double-sided tape. And I usually, even though I'm doing this on uh, most of my backgrounds, um, I usually do have some left to continue in my crafting journey. All of the background panels, those panels that are going on to the card base directly, I know that those are cut to be four by five and a quarter. So that measurement, I know. Uh, those panels, I either cut to be four by five and a quarter or I'll cut them four and an eighth by five and three eighths, just to have that little bit of border going around the outside. I'm trimming down my sentiment. I added one of the, um, chipboard stickers and I'm going to prop my sentiment up over the chipboard piece and place that down onto the bottom. And that is our first card. For our next one, I'm using the die set. So another question I get um, very rare 
when I use this kit, I like to collage with it. I like to use those die cuts, um, show you how they just all go together. Um, that's how I am inspired. Um, so sometimes I'll use the stamp, sometimes I'll use the die. So this kit, I happen to use both the stamp and the die. So yay. This die set creates a beautiful frame. Um, and what's nice is when it, when it die cuts it, you get that center panel out as well. So I was able to also, <coughs> excuse me, die cut um, from the pattern paper so that I could have a piece inlaid into that frame. I'm using one of the chipboard pieces and the silhouette chipboard piece. Um, or no, the silhouette is actually one of the die cuts for the center. And I used the butterfly, so I cut the background. It's a two-part butterfly. So what I call the cloud and then the detail on top. So I used the gold foil for the detail. And I used some pattern paper for the cloud in the back, the base of that. And that's going to sit up into the corner. The die set also comes with these adorable stars and I'm going to place those around and I use the gold mirror cardstock also um, to cut them out. So lots of shine going on this card. For the next one, we've got some panels. I also did pull in a piece of the solid cardstock as well, um, just to make sure that this is actually giving it a step up, just to give it some dimension. I'm gonna take a piece of the pattern paper and actually create a ribbon for my tag. So I'm just going to poke that through and so I don't have the white um, on the one side. I'm just gonna very gently twist that paper and then add some glue so that it will stay in place. So if you don't have twine um, or string, you can use your paper. Just cut a nice slither and we can weave it through buttons, we can weave it through tag holes and create a ribbon effect. And that's what I love about this kit. It comes with so much and you can do so much with it. You don't have to have uh, so many inks. You don't have to have uh, so many dyes. Um, everything is included in this kit so that you can uh, make beautiful cards. Because again, I do believe pattern paper does all the work for us. And when we collage, we're creating our own layers. The other thing that's beautiful with a kit is everything goes together. This is the third question that I usually get. And I like to repeat these questions as I go through each of these videos. Um, is how do you know what goes with what? When it comes to a kit or a, a paper collection, uh, whether it's a Graphic 45 or a Simple Stories or any of those other ones, um, Craft Consortiums, you know, they, they have all of these pieces that you can get, just not the 12 by 12 or 8 by 8 or 6 by 6 paper pads. Um, but they're all meant to go together, whether it's the paper in the pad to the die cuts. Um, they're all going to match. They all have this theme. So you can never go wrong with layering your papers. What you're looking at is I've got a big print here with a tiny print or a bold dark print um, to a light print. You, you want to, you know, mix and match those um, so that they're each seen by the eye. But what does help that is when you use a solid cardstock in behind that pattern paper to help pull that out. Sometimes you'll need that, sometimes you won't. Um, it, it all depends. By adding a couple sheets of solid cardstock, which again, that comes in this kit, you are actually stretching the capability of your pattern paper because you don't need that big of a piece. You can cut it down so you can get more cuts from each of your six by six paper pads. So that's what's nice when it comes to a kit. Um, and this has everything um, that you will need. Now I do always add glue and I add usually one ink and that's the black ink or the clear ink um, or an embossing powder to you know add my sentiments. But even the die cut packs have sentiments in them.
So you can see I'm still layering. I'm still layering my cards. I'm pulling in some solid cardstock um, just to use that as a base when it comes to some of the images just like this. I have a cat die cut on top of another cat pattern paper, but that's okay. Um, the gray cardstock is going to separate those um, and give it a little bit of dimension and, and make those images that I'm using uh, to come out. I am bending that butterfly just so that the wings stand up a little bit as well. I am using my liquid glue for these panels. And again, that does just save time. You know, putting down that tape, that can take a lot of time. Um, so I always, my glue is always close by. I love tearing paper. I, I love the sound of it. I love what you can do with it. <laughs> it's, to me, it's very therapeutic <laughs> to just tear paper. Um, it's just one of the many things that are therapeutic for me. Um, so you can tear your pieces and have that torn edge look. And what's great is when you do that and you're looking at this panel, is it the top panel that's torn or is it the bottom panel that's torn? Now, that's a question that you can ask before I start tucking in these other pieces. And yes, we did see the vintage photo come in on this one. I, it's one of the things that I do love about the die cuts and some of these pattern papers. Um, there's just a vintage feel coming through them and just absolutely love it. Um, but again, vintage photo can make anything look vintage. Absolutely. You can put it on any color, um, pink, blue, purple, you name it, it can go on it just going to continue with my uh, die cuts here and layering them up just giving this one more of a little tiny vintage feel with a uh, ticket and a little tiny definition spot down there and we're going to place that onto our card base as well and you can see that frame just gives it um, a nice edge uh, when you're putting your cards together what's also nice is sometimes in the the uh, die cut pack is are these nice big panels uh, with sentiments um, and they can add so much to your cards as well. And yep, there's that vintage photo again. You guys haven't seen it in a while. I've been good. It's coming back. We're getting close to the fall. I know we're still, you know, we're just in August, but it's just right around the corner. We've got a couple more months and we are there and uh, yeah, yep, yep, yep. It's coming. It's coming. Here's where I'm going to pull in those 3D butterflies. Um, loved this newsprint, so I'm using that for the background. And if you notice, I glued that down onto the card base already, and I'm starting to layer my pieces. Now, what's also great, so before in the beginning, I showed you how you can make your paper look like a ribbon through a tag. You can also make your, pat your pattern paper look like washi tape. And that's just by cutting it and then tearing one end of it. That simple tear um, can make it look like uh, washi tape just sitting on a piece of paper. And having that straight edge on the other side just means that we cut that side off. So again, lots of things we can do with paper just by ripping it and tearing it and just having so much uh, enjoyment with that. I also tore the bottom of that banner so that it just looks like a piece of paper. I'm going to add a couple of the chipboards to this. And I do like to add glue. I mean, they're very sticky, um, but I just like to add a little glue just for some more assurance there to make sure that it's going to stick. And then just adding these beautiful butterflies that are vellum. Um, it's like a, a shiny vellum. Um, and they will, they will stay up. They keep popping up. You can't flatten them. So that's really nice. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, 10 cards featuring the Spellbinders card kit of the month for August. And this one is called Butterfly Sparkle. I will have the links to their shop, um, to all of their clubs that are available. They have so many wonderful things that are available there. I'll also have the link to their add-ons when it comes to this kit. It may be uh, they have an add-on that you're looking for specifically. Um, and of course to their blog because you can get so much more inspiration from there as well. 
If you have any questions, make sure you leave those down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Enjoy your day. Um, have fun in your crafty space creating your art because that is what you are doing. If you haven't yet, I'd love for you to take a moment to subscribe and hit that thumbs up. Um, I do post regularly here. But until the next video, guys, um, enjoy, have fun, but always remember what's most important for me. Always, guys. Be creative and take care. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Till then.